Trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, AVEX and other top cryptocurrencies with up to 30 times leverage directly from your wallet with GMX. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Since GMX is a DEX on the Arbitrum network, I'd like to give you some background info. Arbitrum is designed to be a layer 2 solution which enhances the capabilities of Ethereum smart contracts. While adding extra privacy features, it also increases overall scalability and transaction speeds. GMX is a perpetual decentralized exchange on Arbitrum. It's an open-ended exchange, which means that the contracts on the platform do not have an expiration date. This allows users to trade digital assets around the clock. A decentralized exchange is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace that connects cryptocurrency buyers and sellers. Decentralized platforms are non-custodial, meaning a user remains in control of the private keys when transacting on a DEX platform. This is different from centralized exchanges where you don't own your own keys. And called the next crypto derivative as leader, it supports low swap fees and zero price impact trades, which allows users to leverage up to 30 times on their trades. Check out my article on CryptoWithRico.com about leverage trading if you want to learn more about it. Now, GMX first went live on Arbitrum in September 2021 and then was released on Avalanche early 2022. More than three quarters of the trading activity transpires on Arbitrum, with Avalanche providing a much lower volume of trade. I made a video on Arbitrum not too long ago, and I'll link it at the end of this video so you can learn more about that too. Besides the regular spot trading that you might know from other exchanges, the perpetual swap markets allow traders to long or short most tokens with 30 times leverage by using a shared liquidity mechanism. And this is different from trades being done using an order book. Trades being done are made through the current Oracle price, which is secured by Chainlink. One of the distinct features of the platform is its multi-asset AMM mode. Liquidity providers invest in on-platform index assets and in exchange for the investment receive GLP, which is the platform's liquidity cryptocurrency. The index assets are based on a basket of assets used in swap and leverage trading on the platform. The exchange knows two different tokens. The first one is their governance token GMX and the second one is a liquidity token GLP. The GMX token is used on the exchange for staking and governance purposes and has a maximum supply of 13.25 million tokens. When you hold the token, you will be able to vote on a variety of proposals concerning the platform's operations. Staking it will give you three types of rewards, which are the escrow GMX, multiplier points and standard rewards in ETH or AVEX, which include 30% of the exchange's revenue from swaps and leverage trading. Neither the GMX token or GLP token are used for transaction payments. On Arbitrum, they are carried out in Ethereum and on Avalanche and AVEX. A GLP is primarily used on the platform as a liquidity provision. GLP token is a protocol's native liquidity provider token and is essentially an index of the large cap assets supported by the GMX protocol. In exchange's model, GLP plays a key role. Newly minted GLP are issued to liquidity providers when they invest in a multi-asset indices on the platform. GLP is burned of those that decide to redeem their investment and due to this continuous minting and burning, the supply of GLP fluctuates a lot. Now the asset serves as an index of the assets that exist within GMX multi-asset pool system and it can also be staked to earn ES, GMX and Ethereum rewards over time. Notably, GLP stakers receive 70% of GMX's accrued fees. GLP is automatically staked upon purchase, which means that it's only obtainable on the GMX protocol itself. Its holders act as the counterparty to the leveraged traders on the exchange and therefore GLP token performance depends on market conditions and trader execution. Since the GMX exchange is one of the largest native apps on Arbitrum, the GMX and GLP tokens may serve as proxies for exposure to the growth of the Arbitrum network. With the GMX token in specific, it has proven to be sensitive to previous updates on Arbitrum. When Arbitrum had the Nitro launch, its price went up from $44 to $51. Before we move on to the next topic, please know that I'm not a registered financial advisor and that my videos should not be taken as financial advice. They are meant to be educational and entertaining only. Always make sure to do your own research before investing into any projects. Also, at the time of this recording, I do not hold any GMX or GLP tokens, nor was I sponsored by the GMX team. I am, however, looking to invest into Arbitrum and its ecosystem. So the longer this video is online, the higher the odds are that I might have invested in it. Right, now that we've got this out of the way, 
Let's continue with GMX. The GMX DAX has a dashboard available on the website, which shows you things like asset under management, the 24 hour trading volume, the amount of long and short positions, and things like token price, supply, and market cap. It also shows the amount of tokens staked, and at the time of this recording, it's around 80%, which is very high and to me a very good thing because the more tokens are staked the more stable a price is and the less tokens are in wallets or on exchanges ready to be sold. The same information is available for the GLP token and for even more detailed stats you can visit stats.gmx.io. GMX also has an earn page which allows you to connect your wallet or to purchase GMX. You do need Ethereum to purchase GMX on Arbitrum and GMX can be purchased on Banksa, Uniswap and Binance. Now, are you active in the Arbitrum 1 ecosystem and are you using GMX? Let us know in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about crypto, please click that playlist right there. For now, my name is Rico Richen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Doei!